The Leprosy Mission Nigeria, TLMN, has called for the inclusion of children with disabilities into regular schools to discourage any form of discrimination. Dr. Sunday Udo, National Director of the Mission, made this known in Abuja during the annual advocacy campaign, We Ring the Bell, aimed to create awareness on the rights of children with disabilities. Udo said that TLMN, a strategic partner organization of the Lillian Foundation, urged the government to implement legal, regulatory and policy frameworks to ensure access to quality education for children with disabilities. Udo, who was represented by Mr. Payo Sobu, the mission's head of programs and operations, said that like every other facility, children with disabilities should access the same schools as all the children. In the same way, when it comes to education, every child should be able to walk into a school within their community and still be able to access education. So it's not really about saying uh, people with disability should find a place. No, it is that there is already a place that even though you find yourself in a community where there is just one school, that school should be able to cater for you, should be able to provide uh, the necessary education that you need. That's what we are saying. Now, for us as the Leprosy Mission, um, we've um, made a commitment that children with disabilities um, will not be left behind. So even though we already have the National Disability Act that is already being implemented uh, to a large extent, uh, now we have a commission. Um, just as has been hinted even this morning by some of the speakers, uh, we are still far away from ensuring that uh, the impact of the act is felt by persons with disability. Now, uh, we look beyond persons with disability. We go down especially to children who are affected by one form of disability or the other. We know what parents go through. We know how um, uneasy it is for a lot of parents, as has also been highlighted here. Um, that a lot of people, even in the rural areas, still hide their children uh, because of the stigma and because of um, the, the, the concern that they really don't know what to do. Now, for us as an organization, um, the, the opportunity of using the We Ring the Bell um, as a campaign and as a slogan is to, one, speak to parents who have children with disabilities to say, look, there is hope for these children. These children have rights because they are human beings. Uh, these children have opportunities and that we are using this as a means to say, bring these children out. You have a helping hand. You have an organization that is willing to stand with you and to speak for you and with you and to also help you um, uh, uh, sort of magnify your voice. Secondly, we are saying to the government that you have a responsibility to ensure that what you've made a commitment to, that that commitment, you follow it through um, with actions, with backing, with the, with, the, with the necessary legal framework, and that it shouldn't just be sitting on the shelf um, in our offices, but that we will bring it out and ensure that what we've made a commitment to as a country that we will ensure that we implement. Thirdly, for the children themselves, that we are saying to them with this, we ring the bell, that your voices are being heard, that we may have sort of ignored you for too long, but as we ring the bell today, and as you ring the bell yourself, we, the adults, we, your parents, we are listening to you and we are making a commitment to say, we will leave no one behind. Mr. Aturu Jonah, Director, FCT Department of Special Needs Education said that the FCT Education Secretariat had made conscious efforts to implement policies on inclusive education. What is inclusive education? Simply put, it is a system of education that allows children, irrespective of their disability status, to learn together under the same roof in the same learning environment with attention to their peculiarities and meeting the specific targets and objectives for the educational program. SCT is taking the bold step in providing the needed 
policy that will guide inclusive education delivery. As we speak, the policy is receiving the ministerial attention that it deserves. <laughs> we are most inclined to provide education for all, with no exception. We are also most inclined to ensuring that the talents of all our children, no matter their status, is harnessed and they are given the opportunity to excel to whatever level they so desire without any let or hindrance. We all know that um, the neurologically divergent disabilities cannot easily shuttle between their homes and the schools. For this reason, a special residential school established in the uh, Kuje, the school for special needs, addresses this need of these children in order to reduce the stress of their commuting between their residences and the school environment. However, we intend that in every nook and cranny of our city, wherever any child with disability resides, there is an opportunity for them to acquire education.